So recently, a revolutionary fossil have been found in Myanmar, also known as Burma, a country in Southeast Asia. The fossil is encased in beautiful golden Cretaceous amber that showcases the immense power of the global flood, and secular scientists are scrambling to come up with an adequate explanation for its existence. Ting Ting Yu from the Nanjing Institute of Geology and Paleontology in China and colleagues published their baffling discovery in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Ammonites are a common fossil in marine rocks, especially in the Cretaceous layers. But this particular specimen was found in the famous amber fossil tree resin mines of Myanmar that has yielded many spectacular land fossils such as countless insects, a juvenile bird, bird wings and even complete reptiles. How could an ocean dwelling mollusk get trapped in tree resin and become a fossil? Even more surprising is that it was found mixed with a host of land animals and other marine critters. This environmental mixing is just what one would expect in a global flood, with tsunami-like waves carrying sea creatures far inland, mixing and burying them with land creatures, and resulting in rocks filled with animals from diverse locations. This extraordinary assemblage, a true and beautiful snapshot of a beach in the Cretaceous, is just mind-blowing, said Jan van Derry, a paleontologist at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County, adding, I probably would say that I don't know how that could happen because amber is from trees. How is that going to get into a marine environment to entomb a living moving cephalopod? But I don't know. This specimen is truly extraordinary and mind-blowing. The ammonite fossil was tentatively identified as a juvenile Pezosia, a subspecies of ammonite found in Cretaceous marine sediments across multiple continents. You and colleagues offer three different scenarios to explain this remarkable discovery. The shells may record an exceptionally high, perhaps storm-generated tide, or even a tsunami or other high-energy event. Alternatively, and more likely, the resin fell to the beach from coastal trees, picking up terrestrial arthropods and beach shells and exceptionally surviving the high-energy beach environment to be preserved as amber. Why they prefer the latter and least probable explanation is a testament to their uniformitarian worldview. They appear to be unable to think outside of it. The more likely explanations involving large storms and tsunamis seem far more probable, and this is what we expect a global flood would have accomplished to create the ammonite fossil in amber. Michael Kreshko reports, finding an ammonite shell in landformed fossil is therefore eyebrow raising as finding dinosaur remains on the bottom of an ocean seafloor. And yet, that has already been found too. And even more compelling than that, a Plateosaurus dinosaur bone has been found washed out over 70 miles to sea and buried about a mile and a half deep in the North Sea. The unimaginable and massive tsunami-like waves of the flood washed marine animals hundreds of miles inland and also washed many land animals way out to sea. Only the power and high energy of a global event could explain these fossils and the extraordinary and mind-blowing ammonite in amber. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.